Groovy, it's number one, the Led Zeppelin. The Led... Uh, the Led uh, what? The uh, Led Zeppelin, but I'm afraid that you and other dads like you, Bob, may never have heard of them. But this British group has made musical history today. Readers of The Melody Maker have voted them the top world group. The significance is that the Beatles have held this title for eight years, but now the Beatles are out. Eight years ago, the Beatles were four clean-cut and clean-shaven young men who had a happy knack for songwriting. The tunes they wrote and sang were evergreens, as hum hummable and as immortal as I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas and Autumn Leaves. But a new generation was growing up, a generation to whom Bing Crosby and the Ink Spots meant nothing, a generation that demanded a new kind of music, music like the music of the Led Zeppelin. I think that the last year has seen a bit of a revolution in popular music and the death of the personality cult. Led Zeppelin have taken over where the Beatles left off because people are now interested in young musicians rather than in, say, what Paul McCartney had for breakfast. People have turned inwards and they're looking to the young musicians scene. Led Zeppelin are good musicians and people are voting for them rather than for an image as they used to years ago. The Beatles ran for, for eight years and uh, when one thinks of a, a song of theirs, Yesterday, which had all sorts of variations played upon it, um, do you think as musicians you'll be able to last as long as eight years? Do you think you'll be inventive enough? You know, the other thing about being able to whistle the tune, being able to hum the tune as you go away, I don't think I could hum any of your stuff. No, but that, I think it's changing. That, that's the main thing, you see. I think that's why the awards have changed, because the kids are changing for a start. And so is the music changing. And I think, well, there's already a single out of Whole Lot of Love, an orchestra playing it, mm. which is, is quite interesting, really. The flute plays what the lead vocal would do. So you're saying, you're saying that your fans don't necessarily want to whistle the tunes, to hum the tune. But they're much more sophisticated than, you know, my generation. I well, I huh. think so. I, well, not, no, not, <laughs> not in that sense. I, I, I think these days, that, the, the, that, let's say the public, you know, it's not just say the kids, because we've had sort of all sorts of people at concerts, you know. Mm -hmm. I think that they're coming to listen to what you're playing and not just to look at you and see what you are. I mean, I remember when I was, let's go back a few years, when I first went to see the Beatles, because we've mentioned them a few times, it was to look at them, you know. Mm. It, it wasn't, you didn't really bother what, what you were listening to. Yes. And today, well, it, it's not what you are, it's yes. what you're playing. And well, I'm this is interesting. We've heard that the personality cult is dead, but uh, I'm, I'm still going to put one of those kind of questions. I mean, uh, I wouldn't know whether you're a millionaire or not, but uh, you, must be, you must be quite rich now. What's it like having money? <laughs> well, John's laughing because I don't think... I, I think I must spend a good five pounds a week, and that, <laughs> I, think, I think goat and chicken food. This is keeping but, your goats, yes, right, yeah. in Kidderminster. Uh, yeah. but, but having paid for the goat bill, you've got a little bit left over, have you? Oh, a few shillings and yeah. groats and stuff. No, I think it all boils down to where it keeps boiling down. But, I mean, in our position, we've spent years and years on the road, sort of playing in little church halls and being beaten up and bricks thrown through the van windows and everything. And to have money at last is just um, another figure in my mind of, of mass acceptance, which is what we all work for. I mean, everybody, however much they like to deny the fact, really wants, in the end, to be accepted by the majority of people for being uh, either a talent or, or um, a commodity, mm. you know. Uh, I think that we've reached that stage now, and it's left to us to, to keep on coming up with something good, so as we'll be at the Melody Maker, Paul Winner's Awards, blah, blah. Yeah, for a few years now to come. On, yeah. Robert Clark and John Bond, thank you very much, and... Um Good luck with your 40,000 audience in Madison Square Garden in New York, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. The Led Zeppelin voted by the fans the number one, the world's number one group. And first time actually on British television. Now, a matter of cause for concern for Southeast Anglers. There's